Hello, hello, hello once again. We are now in another video tutorial by Dr. Ramela B. Ramirez here. So this time we are going to solve algebra for math learners. So this is one problem that we have here for algebra. According to the problem, one host can fill a goldfish pond in 15 minutes and two hoses can fill the same pond in 15 minutes. Find how long it takes the second hose alone to fill the pond. Another, let me repeat that. One hose can fill a goldfish pond in 15 minutes and two hoses can fill the same pond in 15 minutes. We are going to find how long it would take for the second hose alone to fill the pond. So we are going to solve for the problem. So in order for us to solve for the problem, we need to identify first what are the given data. So in this particular case, since we are given here, we are given here the problem that is a word problem. So let me classify the different data as to the following. The work done by the different hoses. So there are two hoses. The rate by which they do the work and of course the time is spent for working okay and of course we have to identify the part of the work done so let us call the first host as host number one and then the second host Let's call that as host number two. And we are going to identify according to the given problem, the various data here. So for host number one, remember that according to the problem, it was stated that one host can fill a goldfish pond in 50 minutes. So that means the rate of work of that hose will be for every 50 minutes, it can fill up a certain pond. So the work done is one over 50 minutes. So that is for the number one hose. So one hose can fill a goldfish pond in 50 minutes. So that means the rate is 1 over 50 minutes. Then for the second hose, that is the one in question. And we don't know the rate of work being done by the hose number two. Because according to the problem, we have to find how long it would take the second hose alone to fill the pan. So in that particular case, let us represent the work done by second host as 1 over x. Remember that the value of x is the time it would consume, consume by the host in order to fill the pond alone. So we are going to identify that x is the time it would take for the second host to fill the pond alone. Okay, so this is the time to take, the time it would take for host number two, for host number two to fill the pond alone. Okay. So we represent the work done 
of the second dose or the rate is 1 over x. Then for the time is spent in working, remember that according to the problem, the two hoses can fill the same pond in 15 minutes. So we are going to use the time is spent as 15 minutes. That is because according to the problem, both pans, I uh, sorry, one the same pan can be filled up by the two hoses in 15 minutes. So meaning if the two hoses would work together, they can fill up the pan in 15 minutes. So we need to identify the part of work contributed by host number one and the part of work contributed by host number two. So the part of work done by host number one should be represented by for 15 minutes, he can work it out 15 over 50. While for the second host, for 15 minutes, the part wor work done by the second host is 15 over X. Again, if we are going to represent the part of work done by the first host, that is 15 over 50. For the time, the total time that is consumed by filling up the pond with using the two hoses is 15 minutes, while the first host has a rate of one work per 50 minutes. So the part work done by host number one is 15 over 50, while the part work done by the second host will be 15 over X, because we don't know yet the time that it would take for host number two to fill the pond alone. So we need to identify the total work done, okay? Total work done. And the total work done, that means for one, for every one, for every one work, that would be equal to the rate of or the part work done by host number one plus the part work done by host number two. So the total of work is one unit and the part, part contributed, part of the work contributed by host number one is 15 over 50 plus the part of work done by host number two, which is 15 over X. So if you are going to transpose to the other side of the equation, all similar terms on one side and the other side will be the representation of the unknown variable. So let us transpose to the other side, the unknown variable 15 over X is equals to 15 over 50 plus we would have 15 to this uh, opposite side will be negative 15 over x and then minus 1 to the opposite side will be this one will be transposed to the other side so that would be negative one 
So if that would be the case, then we can say that we have, we may have the same equation such as this one. So 15 over X is equals to one minus 15 over 50. And if we are going to transpose again to the other side of the equation, the value of X, this will be 15 is equals to X times one minus 15 over 50. So if we are going to transpose to the other side of the equation, that will be the equation 15 is equals to X times one minus 15 over 50, or that is equals to 15 is equals to X minus 15 over 50 X. So that is 15, the same as 15 is equals to one minus 15, over 50 X and that would give us the value for 15 is equals to 7 over 10 X if we reduce the 1 minus 15 over 50 into the lowest term we will have 15 is equals to 7 over 10 times X or x will be equals to 15 times 10 all over 7. And x will be equals to, if we are going to calculate it, 15 times 10 over 7 is 150 over 7, or that is equivalent to 21.43 the unit will be in minutes. And this will be our answer to the question. This is the rate of the second hose. That is the rate of sec hose number two. So meaning the hose number two can fill up the pond within 51.43 minutes if it is to work alone, okay? So that is our answer, 21.43 minutes. So once again, I am Dr. Ramela B. Ramirez and I will see you on my next blog. Thank you very much for watching and listening.